and I see the boldness in you. And, and she said, yeah, right I envy that. And you're just outspoken. I mean, like now that you're, you're, um, you're, you're a sinner, you're not saved, but you still do what you want to do. And no one can tell you what to do if your heart is in it. Mm. But she says, I'm easy to be dismayed. Wow. And I'm weak. But she said, even though you're a sinner, you're not weak. You're strong. Hmm. And she would tell me that. And thank God before she died, she asked me for forgiveness. Oh, right. You know, because we always warred, you know, hmm. against each other. And um, no matter what, Mother Days, I, I was send her um, money from New York where I was. I was even, I didn't share that with you in the car, but I'm going to let the Holy Spirit lead me. Yeah. I was, um, went to New York with this guy that I met. He was a Haitian guy. And I went to New York with him. And my mom, she was saved and she bidding me not to go. Mm. And I still went because I never feel loved by her. So how could she tell me anything, you know? Yeah. So I went with him. He persuaded me to go with him. I went with him and I was beat constantly. Mm. I was beat constantly. And I even stole money from him several times and because he was he was he he would drive cabs okay. in, in New York. So I um stole money from him constantly. But I would always wind myself find myself back there. It's like I was immune to getting beat. That's all I knew. Mm. And if you didn't beat me, you didn't love me. And when you showed me love, I couldn't accept it. I couldn't receive it. Wow. Because of all the the hurt and all the torture that I've been through, I didn't trust no one. Mm. I didn't even look. It's times that I didn't even trust God because I said, if there's a God, then why the hell is I, am I going through these things? I was going through hell on earth. Yes. So if there's a God, why am I suffering? Because I didn't even know God. Mm. And when I tell you, that I was one of Satan's finest, mm. best out there. I was one of Satan's best out there. I was one of Satan's soldiers. Mm. And the incident, I, I now wear a scar, which is in my face. This is something, this is something that I, I was never able to share. Mm. And God told me to share that. But I now wear the scar in my face right here because the friend that was a leader was a ringleader of, yeah, just of the, little, the little clip that it's I... It's a little covered up now because we did do a little makeover before. Yes. But um, with the little clip that I ran in... Um, she set me up, like I told you, she was um, just because of what was happening, I was now beginning to take her place, which was not really a valuable place, place being a prostitute, but back then, I didn't have money, a job, and I dropped out of school, so I had to get by. So she had told me that this girl was the, the R&B singer I was dating, that the girl was messing with him. I did not come to find out that was his cousin. Mm -hmm. That's why she was always in the car, and she knew that. The enemy knew. She knew, but I didn't know. Mm -hmm. So she, I was the type of person, if you tell me to go get him, I'm going to go get him. Mm -hmm. And blood was going to be shed. Mm -hmm. So she told me to go and get her, and I beat her very badly, but she did more damage than me. Because she left a scar in my face that I now have to live with. And how did she do that? She had a razor in the in the middle of her fingers and mm. she slapped me with it. I didn't even know I was cut. Jesus. And it was split to the white meat. And the doctor told me one more cut and I would have lost my eyeball. Wow. From that. And you would think I would stop then. I have scars in my back, scars that are not seen. And how did those scars come? Where did they come from? It's basically the same thing, Stabbing. continually listening and fighting. And I remember the girl that stabbed me, they gave me a gun to shoot her. And I had her at gunpoint. Mm. One of the drug dealers that I used to hang out with, mm. they protected me is why I really clung to them. Mm -hmm. And he gave me the gun and said, shoot her. And I shot at her and it hit the ground and she got away. Mm. But I was aiming for her. And I knew that was God. And even though I had that pass out there, God kept my record clean for this yes. point of time. Because he knew what I was going to be. I yet, But I didn't know my calling. Mm. So I struggled. I didn't even call out to God. And even... I want the people to know, really, even I've been in, I, I was in the church and I backslid twice. Mm -hmm. I had my son who was three when I went there and I backslid two other times, different guys. And I had babies with them and I went back out and I went back to using. I've been using from the age 12 to 31 years old and I went back out using drugs when I was out of the church. And I remember me sitting in a corner, no one in my house knew I was doing. I was the type of person, if I wanted to do something, I, I wouldn't even, I didn't even have to let you know, you, I could do it under your nose. Mm -hmm. I was just that conniving. So I had went back to using drugs and I remember being, lock, I locked myself in using a room. Using drugs in the church? No, in home. At home. At home. I had dropped out of church. I had okay. stopped going. I backslid. Back that was my second time. Okay. And I was using drugs in the house and I was taking these pills and I wanted to die. Mm -hmm. And I said, Lord, I wasn't even thinking about anything then. I said, Lord, I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I said, 
I said, Lord, just help me. I said, I don't know what to do. I said, I'm crying out to you a sinner. And many people was telling me that God don't hear sinner prayers. Mm. But God heard my prayer. He knew my heart. And I cried out to God. I said, God, I don't want to go to hell. I don't want to die. I said, God, I want to be who you call me to be. If you call me to be anything, mm. if you just call me to be at the door to usher, I want to be what you call me to be. I said, God, help me. And God told me, choose this day. Mm. I never knew that scripture. Whether you choose life or death. Mm. And he told me, I, I have said so many bad things about say church. Say again, what did God say? He told me to choose. Look at, no, look in the camera, too. If there's somebody God. sitting on their couch, mm -hmm. sitting on their cell phone, Amen. because this is an online network. Yes. Look at them and tell them what God said. Choose God told him me this while day. I was in the middle of yes. committing suicide. Mm. God told me, choose this day, mm. whether you choose life or death. Life or death. Amen. And I choice. chose life. Man. And God told me what I needed to do. Mm -hmm. And I went back to church and I apologized for the blasphemy because blasphemy is a sin. Mm -hmm. You can't blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And that was a sin. So um, I went, I got back baptized again. I was embarrassed and I said, Lord, please let me be the last one to get baptized. <laughs> and I was the last one that day and I know that was God doing. And I went back and I got saved. And then uh, a few months later, my pastor asked that um, whoever wants to receive the Holy Spirit, come up and you can have God Holy Spirit. And I went up there and and I cried out to God. And even though I was going into church and I had given my life to God, mm -hmm. the enemy still was trying to mess with me at the altar. He said, you can't have the Holy Spirit. You're not worthy. Mm -hmm. But God, I told my pastor right away out loud, which I didn't know I was speaking out loud. And he said, the devil is a liar. And he began to pray for me. And I could begin to feel the things that were coming up. The enemy, where the enemy was trying to hold me. I could feel those things coming up. And I knew that that was God. And I never feel like that in my life. So you began to just spit And up. I began to spit. I began yes. to thank God. And I began to cry out. Easy. And I'm telling you, God is real. Mm -hmm. If you ever thought that God was a myth, the devil is a lie. Right. God is real. Yes. God came that we might have life Amen. and we might Amen. have it abundantly. Yes. God said in his word that he will never leave or forsake us. And when God said it, God meant it. Amen. And I'm here to tell you now I'm a woman of God. Yeah, I'm it following my belly right God now. It's all me. just like what? And I want to do all that God yes. will have me to do. I want to do God's will. And if she ever needs me, if you ever need me again, yes. you just look me up. You call me. <laughs> this is the glorified God is not for myself. Yes. The Bible says mm. our righteousness is as filthy rags. Right. But we are righteous in Jesus Christ. Amen. And we all do fall short to the glory yes. of God. But let's not let that be a crutch. Let's Lord, follow Amen. what God has taken us. Mm. Let's be obedient to God. Amen. Let's seek God. Let's have a personal relationship with God. Amen. Because God loved us so much as my sister said here. Yeah. That he gave his only begotten son. Who shall believe shall not perish. And how did you two meet? Because you, you two wasn't always friends now. Me and Lawanda, How did this happen? We met at adults and I um I introduced Lawanda yes. to go to my church and led her to Christ. But I backslid after that now. You see, this is the funny thing. Sometimes <laughs> we're in the church and we think that we're so called and we think that we're doing so much in God. The person that we draw in, God will uh, have with that person to draw in and say the last will be first. And the first to be last. And the first day she invited me to come to church, she, you know, I was going through some problems. Amen. I was going through domestic violence. You know, yes. I was going through a lot. And I, I, the first time I went to her church, I got saved. Wow. Our church now. Our church. Okay. What church do you, because both of you guys, you ladies attend the same church. Yes. What church is that? Kingdom Covenant Ministries. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So therefore, um, if you're in the area of Homestead, yes. tell them a little bit about, you know, the church that, because I believe they, I'm a deliverance girl. Yes. I don't believe in attending church. If I, I won't send you to no church. Yes. If you yes. can't be set free and delivered, you know, from some spirit. Well, we, because have, we have great leaders there. Yes. And they're um trying to win as many souls they can to Jesus Christ. Okay. And they're caring and they're compassionate pastors. Amen. And they they kept me under their wings. I mean, I can speak for myself. They had me under their wings and I wasn't always so nice to them. But I know it was God in them because like I told you, Liz did what Liz wanted to do. But Amen. now Liz have a new name in Jesus Christ. So Liz is under the following of Jesus Christ. But they are great leaders. Yes, they are. And, and they have a compassionate heart. Yes. And we, we, we thank God for yes. you guys. Amen. And Amen. we pray that um, we'll be able to share this with our church. Do y'all have the address? If anyone wants to visit, if they're in the homestead area, do you yes, have the address? Yes, um, 1300 Southwest 160 um, um, 8th Street, Richmond, Boulevard, Richmond Drive. 
and that's in Paran, Florida. Yes. And you have a prayer line that you you yes. ladies are on in the yes. morning. What time? And, and do you have the number if you want to share that? We have a prayer line, but now, well, we have it on Wednesdays now because our yeah. 40 days is um, over right now until next year. Mm -hmm. But we have a, um, a prayer line mm -hmm. um, that we come together on every morning and we pray and we intercede. Yeah, six to seven for the people out there that don't know God, you yes. know, because we have to think about others and just yes, ourselves. God mm -hmm. saved us. Save so, but and I, I truly believe God. Right. I was telling Miss Butler that God told me on the way here that He didn't save me That's to right. sit on my testimony, That's and right. He didn't save me for myself. Amen. Because I truly believe, and as Miss Butler told them, that <laughs> when we get it, we're trying all trying to make it into heaven. Amen. Amen. And we all want to hear, "Well done, thy good Amen. and faithful servant." But yes. I believe as God's first lady. He gonna look at me or us and say, "I understand you tried to make it in, you in, but who you bring? You right. turn around. Who gonna be behind you? Because yes. if the word of God is saying that yes. you know we're supposed to be selfless, yes. so therefore it's not just about us. Yes. So it's really about who else are we bringing? Because He yes. said, "I will make you fishers of men." Yes. And a lot of times we ain't fishing. We are not fishing. Yes. And then we're trying to fish with the hooks. Mm -hmm. In the biblical times, I never saw a hook. That's man-made, yes. you know. Amen. They caught. They used a net, yes. and I, I truly believe a net because when you use a net, you grab a whole bunch of fish. If we're going out there fishing and, and going out there being yes. fishers of men, you can have some small fish, some big fish. Yes. But one thing that I know, when you take those small fish, I could be wrong because I'm not, you know, into the fishing. But you take the small fish and you throw it back out, yes. so you can catch the bigger fish. Amen. So stop yes. catching fishes with your hook. You yes. know, with the lies, with the gossip, with the bitterness and the yes. brokenness, because you don't know what people are going through in our churches. Yes. This is the reason. I'm sure that there were times you came to church and you wasn't having a good day. You just yes. weren't feeling it. And and that day may have been your bad day. Yes. But because it took somebody like Lawanda standing in the gap and praying, saying, you can make it, my sister. Yes. You're going to make it. You know, and y'all came together yes. as one yes. and became a my sister keeper. Yes. That's the whole goal of this all. Yes. Instead of tearing each other down especially in the body of Christ. Yes. What you do, she yes. can't do. Yes. What she's anointed to, yes. she probably can't. Amen. Where you like it, she yes. builds you up and makes you stronger. Yes. But when Amen. we all come together, yes. we build right. each other up for Amen. the kingdom. Yes. And that's how we should think in yes. the body of Christ. Amen. If I would have been selfish and yes. worried about myself, about my pain, about what Sharina went through, as I, you don't even know my story. No. I lost my daughter to death. I lost everything that I had. But if I thought about my own finances and the things that I go through Amen. at home, and you yes. ladies were able to see that, you understand? Yes. It's not about us. All glory to it's God. not about us. It's about Him, which to is our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, so this is the message. The message yes. is to preach the gospel. Yes. It is the message. Amen. Salvation that He died on the cross for our sins. Yes. Amen. If we don't know any yes. other scripture, it is for God so loved the world that He yes. gave our only begotten Son that whosoever believe in Him, right. we shall not perish but have everlasting Amen. So I encourage you out there today, if you have not given your life to Christ, Amen. in every single video that I have done in my past, I also I always say that repent, yes. repent, be baptized. I know they take away, say I don't need to be baptized. If you can, we should always do what Christ has did or strive Amen. to. Amen. If you can find yourself right. a way, just do it. Yes. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's required because I truly believe if you believe in your heart and you confess with your mouth that he is Lord, because there are some people that can't get to the water. Yes. But if you can, go ahead and do that. We're commanded to do it. Tune back in to Sister Share Your Heart. Log on to www.sistershareyourheart at gmail.com. Don't forget our charity event on Saturday, December the 12th at 6.30 p.m. Get your tickets. Now, I'm going to allow this woman of God for that woman that is hurting now in her home. And if you heard anything today yes. that touched your heart, Amen. go ahead. And she's going to close us out and contact Amen. us. That's what we're here for. Yes. yes. Go Amen. ahead. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God. We humble ourselves before your throne of love, grace, and mercy, Lord God. Yes, God. We thank you for who you are, God. Yes. We thank you for the sanities of our minds, God. Yes. We thank you for all things, God. We thank you for bringing us here to allow us, Lord yes. God, letting us share this testimony through this long woman of God, Lord God. Yes. God, we thank you for all all things God we thank you for for what you're gonna do we thank you in advance for the souls that are gonna be
be saved through this viewing, Lord God. We pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you touch every heart, every mind, every soul, Lord God. We pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you touch the brokenhearted, the battered, the fatherless, the motherless, the homeless, Lord God. I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you will cover them under your precious blood like right now, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. You said in your word, you will never leave us or forsake us, Lord God. You said in your word, God, you can do all things but fail, Lord God. You said in your word, Lord God, that never have you seen the righteous forsaken or that seed begging for bread. And God, we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you for that powerful prayer, my Welcome. sisters in Christ. Amen. And as I stated, we are here for you. Amen. There is yes. nobody like the Lord. And Praise sister, God. share your heart. Amen. This is Lady Butler, God's First Lady. Until next time, don't Amen. forget, put God first in your life. Amen. God Amen. Next.